10 secrets you missed in the trailer of Sing 2. Sing 2, the sequel of one of the most successful and loved animated movies of Illumination Studios, is coming out this year, guys. The movie Sing was so loved mainly because of its original theme, introducing popular songs into an animated world, and fitting them in the movie with its funny plot was such a brilliant idea. Songs we've all listened to adapted to the Sing animated world, the funny characters like Buster Moon, and absolutely iconic scenes like Johnny's final scene, where his father hears his son singing from his cell, and goes to attend his show is absolutely incredible. This scene has over 200 million views on YouTube, guys. 200 of how iconic it was. Sting tells the story of Buster Moon, a koala who owns a financially struggling theater and is threatened to have his whole theater closed down for full closure by a bank director called Judith, a llama. So to save his drowning theater, he decides to hold a singing competition with a prize of $1,000. But his iguana assistant, who is blind from one eye, mistakenly adds two zeros to the prize and the promotional flyer gets blown out of the window, and because of this, half of the city goes to audition for the show to get the $100,000, and Buster Moon still doesn't know anything about this. He thinks they're coming for $1,000. Many animals come to audition, and Buster selects his contestants. A punk rock lover called Ash, a teenage gorilla called Johnny, a street musician mouse called Mike, a trio of dancing frogs, and a camel called Pete. Then we have a teenage elephant called Mina, who fails to audition for a stage fright, and Rosita, a pig who is paired to do a dance with another pig called Gunter. These are the main characters of the movie and the ones who go through amazing adventures together, going from not knowing anything about each other to best friends. The movie Sing was a great success. People loved it, Illumination Studios saw its success, and decided to release the second title, Sing 2. With the trailer now released, we see the great plot of Sing 2. Buster Moon and his new cast of singers try to perform in the glamorous Crystal Tower Theater, but they don't have connections. And without connections, they must sneak into the Crystal Entertainment offices, run by a tough music wolf mogul called Jimmy Crystal, who doesn't like any audition and has tough requirements for his performance in the Crystal Tower, and they must figure out a way to perform there. But there's many things that you most probably miss in the trailer, things that you might have overlooked but are key for the new movie story and you didn't pick up on. So without further ado, let's get straight into the 10 secrets you missed in the trailer of Sing 2. Let's go, guys. When seeing the trailer of Sing 2, you probably miss the voices behind the movie. It's normal. It's a short trailer with new characters, so it's hard to know who they are. Since there's new characters in this new movie, there's a whole new set of famous singers and actors behind these characters. In this new movie, Sing 2, we will be hearing the voice of the famous singer Halsey. She will be portraying the rich daughter of the wolf mogul Jimmy Crystal called Portia. Or Porch, however you want to call her. And since Halsey is an incredible singer, we know for a fact that Portia will be singing something for us in this movie. Then we have Pharrell Williams coming into the new movie he will be playing a character called Alfonso, a kid elephant who sells ice cream in the streets and will apparently save the shy elephant Mina. We also have the great Bono of U2, who will be playing the lion character called Clay Calloway, who Bono has referred to as quite the character, so we know he's gonna be a funny one, that's for sure. As soon as the trailer of Sing 2 starts, the first thing we see is this gothic lemur singing a very dark song in a very weird way. Well, the song that this lemur is singing is Bury a Friend of Billie Eilish. Many of you may know this song and might have recognized it the first time you heard it, but at first sight, this seems to be the only thing that we can hear and see from her, the cover of Bury a Friend, that's it. But if we see the way the lemur moves, acts, and even sings, it sounds and looks very dark. Well, this is because the lemur is not only doing the cover for the song, but acting like Billie Eilish in the same song. If we we go back to the Barrier Friend music video and see the lemur, we can see that the lemur is imitating the way she was acting in her music video. The very similar gloomy and dark performance of Billie Eilish and the gothic lemur twisting its head, it was made to look like the performance of Billie Eilish in her music video. In the second 49 of the trailer, we see that the singing crew goes to the city of Red Shore to try to perform in the Crystal Tower Theater. At first, it doesn't look like anything different or special, but if we look closely, it is. If we look at the design of the city of Red Shore of the Sing 2 world, we see that the aesthetic of the city, the lights, the tall bright buildings, and a key sign that says welcome to the fabulous Red Shore City, we realize that it's a reference to the city of Las Vegas, Nevada. If we look at the picture of Las Vegas, and then we go back to Red Shore City, we see the same aesthetic, even the sign of the welcome Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas is the same, but instead it's Welcome to Fabulous Red Shore City. So yes, no doubt, the singing crew will be going to their world's Las Vegas to try to perform in the Crystal Tower Theater. And based on my research, here's where most of the movie is gonna develop, in Red Shore City. 
Right after the scene of Retro City that I've just showed you, the shot changes and it focuses on a bunch of billboards that are really important for the story and are references to the real world. In the left we have a billboard of Freddy Yo-Yo, One Frog Show. This is obviously a reference to the comedy stand-ups in real life but adapted into their own world with a frog. But why a frog? Well, it looks very similar to Kermit the Frog who was a fun Muppet character in Sesame Street with a very humorous tone. Frogs in the animated world have always been seen as funny and goofy. But right next to the ad, we see an ad with a tiger promoting an acrobatic dance performance. If we look underneath it, we see that it says Best Musical of the Year. This is a clear reference to the real-life Cirque du Soleil acrobatic dancing performance. It is considered the best circus in the world, and because of this, they have the most performances in a city. Guess which city is that? Las Vegas, yes. But here, instead of being performed by humans in Las Vegas, it was performed in Red Shore City by animals. In the minute 239, we see a very emotional and shocking scene where right after seeing Rosita crying in the bathroom for some reason that we can theorize that's because she hasn't been able to sing in the theater or didn't achieve any sort of goal, we see a scene where Johnny is very scared. He looks at his hand and it's shaking. For those who don't know, Johnny plays the piano with his hand like he did in the iconic scene of Sing 1, but for some reason here, Johnny's hand is shaking showing us that he will not be able to play the piano this time. Whether he suffers from a probable condition that makes his hand shake or or his nerves get to him to the point where his hands can't stop, I doubt this is the one because in the first one he was able to play normally. We don't know, but I think it's because of a condition. We have to wait for the movie to see this explained in detail, but from this scene, we know that Johnny will have a hard time playing the piano this side. It's heartbreaking, but true. For those of you who have seen the first movie, you would have seen something missing in the trailer, or maybe not. Whatever the case may be, there is one thing missing in the trailer of Sing 2, and that is Mike the Mouse. Mike the Mouse was such a great and funny character in the first one, and he was a main character. And as a result, you would think that he would have been in the trailer of Sing 2, but he wasn't. Why is this? Well, there is probably a reason, and it's not good. If you've seen the first movie and you remember, at the end of Sing 1, if you remember, Mike was running away from a group of bears who wanted to eat him. But he got to escape in the car where the other mouse was waiting for him. But seconds later, we see that one of the bears in the group sneaked his way into the car by holding onto the bag, something that Mike and the pilot didn't see. And all of a sudden, that's it. We don't see what happens next. This gives me the theory that Mike could have probably been eaten by this bear. It's highly likely since all the key characters of the first movie come up in the trailer of Sing 2. Besides Mike, Mike is nowhere to be seen. At the end of the trailer, right after the credits, we see a scene where Gunter puts on a silver suit and starts acting like a robot. Now, you would think, again, that this is only Gunter acting goofy as he always does, but there is a very interesting thing about that outfit that you probably didn't notice. If you look at it closely, it looks a lot like the first Iron Man suit that Tony Stark designed in Iron Man 1. Just look at both and compare. They look very much alike and you can't deny that, guys. And on top of that, if you look at Gunter's chest, you can see the same lightning circle that Iron Man has in all of his suits, including the first one. They look very much alike and probably the directors were inspired by the first Iron Man movie to make this robot suit for Gunter. During the very emotional and motivational montage after the minute 3, where it shows that all of the animals in the movie are struggling with their own things and still find motivation within themselves to push their dreams forward, we see a quick scene where Johnny is performing some sort of acrobatic performance, matching exactly with everything I said about the Cirque du Soleil and Johnny not being able to play the piano in this one due to his hand condition. Because of this, he probably chose an acrobatic performance in this one instead of a piano performance. And in this same scene, we see him wearing a black suit with thorns and shoulder. This is a clear reference to the suit of the movie Mad Max. Very rough, black, and scary looking suits with thorns in them. Exactly the same. Just look at that. This, mixed with the fact that we see fire in the performance, we realize that Johnny is going to be playing some sort of Mad Max play in this world. At the beginning of the trailer, we see many animals auditioning for some sort of competition where all of them are instantly filled by the wolf mogul Jimmy Crystal who seems not to be impressed by any of them. Now, this looks like a normal audition, but from the way he fills them by pushing a button and a red light is shown, we know that this is not a normal audition, but it's a reference to the Americans Got Talent and American Idol type shows in real life, where Jimmy Crystal is a strong judge who fails every contestant that passes by, just basically like a Simon Cowell in the world. Sing 2 tells the story of Buster Moon and his incredible new cast from the first movie. Now they're pretty famous in their city and auditioned for a big place to come out in the big screens of their animated world. Because of this, they set their eyes on performing in the most reputable theater of their country, the Crystal Tower Theater, located in Red Shore City. They are eager to perform in this theater, but they have two problems. In the world of music, you need connections, and this crew has none to be able to perform in such a popular theater. And the second problem is that the theater is owned and run by a very harsh mogul 
little wolf called Jimmy Crystal. Jimmy Crystal is not impressed by them and doesn't think they're good enough to perform in his theater, so he just stands them away. But they don't give up and make a plan to finally perform in the show. Buster Moon, as intelligent as he is, must go and find the legend and icon of the city, but now isolated lion Clay Calloway. He's a living legend in the city, and he's the only one that can help them get in the Crystal Tower, since he has a big name and will instantly get accepted. And here's where the movie develops. They must convince him to get back onto the stage, even though he doesn't want to go back. You will be able to watch the great movie Sing 2 on December the 22nd of this year. Yes, in Christmas. You know, to be honest, it's worth the wait because the movie looks amazing and Illumination never disappoints, that's for sure. And well, my boys, that's all the dose of DJ there is for today, guys. If you liked the video and you like all these great things you most definitely missed in the trailer of Sing 2, don't forget to drop a big thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one, boys. Peace!